All right, everybody, friends near and far, as you can see, the roof is all on. Um, today is Saturday. It is 4 o'clock. Uh, I had my pasture walk this morning. It was cold and windy, let me tell you what. Um, pasture walk got done around 12.30, 1 o'clock. And as soon as everybody left, I stood the sheets up over in the horse's area, climbed up there, and started pulling up sheets. Um, that side is all done. Uh, all the screws are in, everything. All I gotta do is climb up, put the rest of the screws in this side, and I never even thought when I was at Menards the other day to get the ridge cap. So... I need to go to Menards, and as you can see on that side, I have clear ridge cap, so I'll let sunlight through. Uh, I need to go down and get three uh, ridge cap pieces for up on here in this rough. And when I go up to do that, I will put the rest of the screws in this north side. Um, and then all I have left is the 2x6 header boards on the outside. <clears throat> and then I need to go back through and put more. Um, ring shank nails and the header boards on the inside and I'm going to I have a bunch of these stubs here you see I'm going to put those in between the 2x6's up here I don't know if I'm gonna if I might put them up and screw these uh, rafters to them but it's not very it's not a big deal biggest thing is I'm gonna put them in there and then screw the 2 by six is here from each side that way it, it pulls it together they can't pull apart um, and then I already took one bale out of here Kyle was reading right now I'm going to get this hay out of here so I can get these other these boards put down where I want them get these angle braces or corner braces whatever you want to call them installed and then uh, it's basically done for now um, I'm not going to monkey around too much more this year. The plan is I'm going to take the steel off of this side here and move it down to the end. And then I'm going to get new steel for that side. It's going to be full steel all the way down. <clears throat> and then this side I'll just buy whatever I need depending on what I decide to do for a door in here. Um, I don't know, I might do a 9 foot wide door because sheets of steel are 3 foot wide. The nine foot is plenty wide enough for me to get these in here. I mean, it'll be, these are all of eight feet. So I could still get in here easy enough, but with big squares, I'm probably gonna come, like I said, straight through here in and then stack them this way. So I don't need a huge door down there. And if I do a nine foot door and put round bales in here, that'd be plenty big enough. Um, but, and then next year, um, I don't know if I'm gonna close off the side on the north or not most likely <clears throat> but Menards has those 10 foot sheets in stock 8 foot sheets in stock basically it goes from like 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 foot sheets in stock so um, I can run down anytime and get those so but the biggest thing is the roof is on now it can snow and the hay will stay dry for the most part um, even if I don't get the ridge cap put on right away because I'm not going to make a special trip into town just to get the ridge cap. So next thing is I'm going to get some lights run out here. I'm going to put one light in each one of these bays. As you can see, I just have an extension cord with a light out here for right now so I can see at night. Uh, so yeah, that's where it's sitting. Um, both sides are covered. That's a good thing. I wish it would have been done before the rain the other day, but... Apparently this cold weather the hay has dried because it's not damp at all So that's a good thing and this Steel on the north side actually kept this hay dry so and this is mostly the horse hay anyways, so it stayed dry um, I Think I have enough two by fours left over You can see there's a pile here. There's a pile up there and there's some more over here. I think I have enough two by fours my purlins to do that addition or raise the roof for the washroom so um, if I get a chance I'm gonna get working on that I don't know 
all depends on the weather and stuff, whether I'm going to get that done or not. The skid loader could fit in there right now, so we might just throw up a door and just use the 12 by 24 foot this year and the next year uh, get that done. It all depends on time and the weather. Um, I still have that custom combining job to do for beans yet. Uh, he's got like 50 or 60 acres to do. So if the weather's nice, I really need to get going on that before we get more snow. So, but anyhow, that's, this is done. Uh, it's not very cold. My hands, are, my hand is turning purple holding on to the camera. So, and there was, it was windy this morning during the pasture walk. But then afterwards there was just, there was a light breeze, but it was perfect because it was out of the north, northwest. So as I was carrying steel across, I could use it to my advantage to get the steel to shoot over where I wanted it. So it actually worked pretty good. You little turkey butt. So, anyway, a lot of you have already seen the picture that it was done on Instagram or whatever. But I know everybody kind of wants video, so this is just going to be another update video. I did not get a chance to make a video while I was going because, as you know, it's cold. I want to get it done. So, anyways, this is just a quick update. The steel is up, so we have a roof. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll try and get some more footage of the combine rolling once uh, we can get back out in the field. So, catch y'all later. Thanks.